turning and turning in the widening jar, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. The centre cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood tempt tide is loosed, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. I will arise and go now, and go to Inish free, and a small cabin build there of clay and wattles made. Nine beam rows will I have there, a hive for the honey bee, and live alone in the bee loud gale. I know that I shall meet my fate somewhere among the clouds above. Those that I fight, I do not hate. Those that I guard, I do not love. My country is Kiltartan Cross. My countrymen, Kiltartan's poor. No likely end could bring them loss or leave them happier than before. Down by the Sally Gardens, my love and I did meet. She passed the Sally Gardens with little snow white feet. She bid me take love easy as the leaves grow on the tree, but I being young and foolish with her would not agree. Though I am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hands, and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done, the silver apples of the moon, the golden apples of the sun. Look up in the sun's eye, and give what the exultant heart calls good, that some new day may breed the best because you gave, not what they would, but the right twigs for an eagle's nest. I have looked upon those brilliant creatures, and now my heart is sore. All's changed since I, hearing at twilight, the first time on this shore, the bell beat of their wings above my head, trod with a lighter tread. The children learn to cipher and to sing, to study reading books and histories, to cut and sew, be neat in everything, in the best ordering way. I have walked and prayed for this young child an hour, and heard the sea wind scream upon the tower, and under the arches of the bridge, and scream in the elms above the flooded stream, imagining an excited reverie that the future years have come, dancing to a frenzied drum, out of the murderous innocence of the sea. Okay. Do you think it horrible that lust and rage should dance attention upon my old age? They were not such a plague when I was young. What else have I to spur me into song? Sweetheart, do not love too long. I loved long and long and grew to be out of fashion like an old song. All through the years of our youth, neither could have known their own thoughts from the others. We were so much at one. But oh, in a minute she changed. Oh, do not love too long, or you will grow out of fashion like an old song. I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head, and cut and peeled a hazel wand and plucked a berry to a thread. And when white moths were on the wing and moth like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When you're old and gray and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, Take down this book and slowly read the dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. Wine comes out of the mouth and love comes out of the eye. That's all we should know for truth before we grow old and die. I lift a glass to my mouth, I look at you and I sigh. I would spread the cloths under your feet, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams.